Hey guys, how you doing tonight, today, wherever? Um, today I'm talking about the great and very interesting topic that everybody loves. No, it's uh, about, this video is going to be about budgeting, personal finance, stuff to help you on your early career or later career, wherever you are in your career. Whether it, you're a civilian now, military, just joined, doesn't matter. Um, this this information is something that I wish I would have had or would have known right when I joined, because I know a lot of people, myself included, uh, we didn't have a job. I didn't have a job right when I joined. Um, was my first job. Navy was my first job, and it was you know a lot of money for me. I didn't really know what to do with all of it. Um, how to save it? How do I track it? Where's my money going? I just got paid and it's all gone. What the heck? You know, um, like, can I afford this car? I'm going to get a car. I'm going to sell a car. Um, but long story short, I wish I knew, um, you know, all this information that I know now. I wish it was available to me available to me right when I joined. But that's why I'm here. Hopefully I can help you guys out and give you some good, uh, you know, I know not a lot of people like talk about personal finance stuff and budgeting, but it's very important. Um, especially if you're in debt, it'll help you get out of debt because debt is no good. Credit is good. You want to get good credit and you want to have a good credit score. Credit cards are not evil, but I can talk about that on a later time. For now, I'm going to talk about three things that help me a lot, getting on the right path, budgeting, uh, personal finance, etc. So the first one is Mint. Now, you can Google it, mint.com, M-I-N-T. It is a, um, it's an online, you know, it's a website, and you can plug in all your accounts, your, you know, all your banks, your checking accounts, all your savings accounts, um, credit cards, retirement accounts, uh, you know, TSP, IRAs, 401k, whatever. You plug them all in, and it lists all your accounts. It'll list your net worth. Um, you can also put in, you know, if you have a mortgage, you can put in your home value. Uh, you can put in your car you know, your car value, because that adds to your net worth also. You can put in all your assets, too. And, but what it does is, right, it lists all your accounts, easy to read, um, and it tracks all of them for you. It'll let you know if there was any big withdrawals out of your accounts. You know, if you're somebody that doesn't like to check your, you know, banking all the time or go online to your bank website, um, it'll alert you, so you can just go on Mint. So that's actually a good protection against, um, you know, identity theft. That's one good thing about it. But another good thing, you can set up, you know, savings goals. So say you want to, you're saving up for, you know, you have a bunch of different, you know, you have long-term saving goals, short-term savings goals. You can set up a bunch of different goals and it will track all your goals. You know, it will track all your accounts for you. Um, and what I really like is the net worth because you can see your net worth, you know, your net worth should be increasing every, you know, every month you get paid. Your net, your net worth should be going up, up, up. So Mint is a very good um, website. It's free, easy to use, easy to set up. Um, I love it. I've been using it for the past, uh, you know, couple months. It's great. I wish I would have known about it, you know, right when I first joined. But um, so yes, Mint. Now another one. Uh, now to track. This is more budgeting. Um, it's called You Need a Budget. Y N A B. Um, now this is amazing, really, really good uh, software. It has everything already for you. All your budgeting categories already set up. Um, all you have to do is put in your transactions, and it tracks them all. It'll let you know how much money you have left to spend. You can set up, you know, um, all your uh, bills, like your phone, water, uh, your rent. You can set up all your savings, um, car payments, credit card payments. It's a really good budgeting software. Whereas Mint is good just, um, you know, to track all your accounts and to see your net worth. YNAB, or You Need a Budget, is really good for day-to-day -day budgeting. And it'll let you see where all your money's going. Because, like I said earlier, when I first joined, I didn't, you know, I wasn't used to having all this money. And I was like, where's all my money going? Why am I, you know, why am I spending so much? What, you know, how can I, you know, save more? Well, You Need a Budget. You know, it's easy to say, oh, just write it all down or just uh, 
keep all your receipts. Well, yeah, you start doing that, but you get lazy and you lose receipts. You know, it's not as easy. But you need a budget is a really good budgeting software. Um, I, I believe it's sixty dollars, but there's a forty-five day free trial, and also you can get it on sale a lot on Steam for like fifteen bucks. But just try it out for forty-five days. It's free, and it's easy to use, just like Mint. It's really awesome. Now the third thing is a book. It's called "I Will Teach You to Be Rich." Um, really, really good book. That's the first book I read about personal finance, and after that I read a bunch more. But um, "I Will Teach You to Be Rich" is really easy to read. Um, the author's really funny, and it's for uh, mostly people you know coming out of high school, early twenties, um, to help you learn. You know about all your finances and setting up uh, retirement accounts and budgeting and just good you know uh, financial lifestyle so yeah that's about it that I have for today um, mint you need to budget and I'll teach you to be rich three really good things to look into at least look into one of them if you don't want to look into all of them but yeah that's all I got for today for this video I will make another one, um, I'll try to make another one soon about, maybe about credit and credit cards and churning. Um, like I said, credit is not bad. You need to build a good credit score so you can get approved for, you know, a good loan when you're older, you know, so you can get a good mortgage, um, interest rate, and, you know, a good car, car loan interest rate. And, yeah, credit is not evil. You just have to, you know, there's a couple tips, but you just have to be cautious about it. Make sure you pay off your bill um, at the end of the month. Pay it off full. You don't want to keep the balance. And especially uh, don't buy something if you can't pay it off at the end of the month. you got to keep saving up for it. Obviously, you can't afford it. So, but yeah, I'll talk about that later. That's all I have for today. Peace.